Hello lovelies. Um, my name is Audrey and I am guest blogging for um, Those Pesky Dames. Um, I know two of the dames in real life, uh, Jenny the Thursday vlogger and Emily the Friday vlogger. Um, and last week when all of the dames were talking about slut shaming, Jenny um, asked me if I would be willing to talk about one of my personal experiences of being the victim of being called a slut. Basically, it all started when a few people outside of my usual group of close friends um, found out that I wasn't a virgin. Um, and obviously that's not particularly uncommon with teenagers and most people probably wouldn't care. Um, it's not that interesting really. I think what made these people take notice of it was that I wasn't in a relationship. Um, that I had had casual sex and with more than one person and they weren't exclusively male. Um, now I don't know what these people thought or whether those were the reasons that they thought it was okay to do what they did, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, I can only assume that they took this information and twisted it in their heads, somehow came to the conclusion that I was easy or I would have sex with anyone or whatever. There were two people in particular that really, really affected me. Um, first, um, I was at school and I think I had a free lesson or something so I wasn't in a lesson, I was just sat in the common room and um, and it was, wasn't that long after people had started hearing these things about me. Um, and one guy who most people thought and still think is a bit of a dickhead um, came up to me and he said, So, Audrey, you're a slut, I'm a slut, we've got some time, why don't we go have sex? When, when somebody is just telling you to your face that they think you will just give your body to anyone to do what they want with, that's that's upset. The second was actually even more upsetting for me because it was by a person that I'd considered to be a close friend of mine. Um, he never actually called me a slut or skank or whore or slag or anything like that, but when he found out about me not being a virgin and all the things I said at the start, um, he started sending me texts that simply said sex question mark. Um, first it was, it was just a bit of a joke, you know, I, he was just copying what other people were saying and, you know, he was, he was just doing it as a laugh, that's what I thought anyway, and, um, you know, I'd laugh it off and I'd be like, ah, you're so funny, lol. Um, but after a while, when he started texting me with it several times a day, start to get a little bit more serious because that was when I actually sat back and thought is he doing this as a joke or is he actually asking me for sex and I had no idea how to deal with it so I just I carried on laughing it off I actually counted how many texts he had sent me and it had only been six days since he'd actually started sending me these texts and he texted me something like 27 times asking me for sex which is absolutely ridiculous um, and that's not funny at all. What I do in my private life is nobody else's business. I didn't want people to find out about those things. But other, you know, I, I told my friends because they're my friends and I don't mind them knowing. But people outside of my friends group, I didn't want them knowing. I didn't tell them and I don't know how they found out. Um, but they weren't supposed to know. And the fact that they did know was bad enough for me, you know, they, they weren't supposed to know that. They had no right to know that information. They therefore had no right to judge me on that. And they had no right to be calling me a slut and asking me for debt because of that, because they weren't even supposed to know about it. And the moral of the story is, stop judging people, stop calling people a slut, 
it's none of your business. Um, sorry for that being such an awkward video. Um, hopefully I'll get to guest vlog again in the future. Maybe I'll be a little bit better at this. Um, thank you for watching. Um, bye.